Hello, Vlogmas Day 2. My place is a mess because I was in the middle of cleaning yesterday for like 30 minutes and then I fell asleep. However, I am already off to a rocky start to the day. And hopefully that doesn't show what the day will continue to be like because that would suck. I was asked last night to come in this morning at 7 a.m. and I was like, I had gotten off at midnight and I was like, I can't, I'm sorry, I really need to sleep. I would love to, but I need to sleep an extra hour or two. Like I physically cannot be up at six and like that's i've barely slept or eaten this week and it's not fun it makes sense why fashion people are so skinny i woke up to my auto pay not working on my phone bill because i forgot that i switched my debit card but i never got like a pin to register an online account and i haven't gotten any emails about a bill and i haven't gotten any letters so i was like oh i thought it worked like in my mind i thought it worked oh thank god this is them calling back the call back requested from at and i fixed the phone issue I couldn't log into my account because I needed a pin of some sort, which meant that when I changed my card, my auto pay didn't process, but that's all handled. I'm working now. I'm very excited, but also extremely stressed out and having a panic attack over what just occurred. I arrived to the Balenciaga Hotel, and as I think I mentioned yesterday, my friend owns a PR courier service that I was hired through. And the Balenciaga guy pulled me aside and was like, I need you to get really close, like listen to me. What are you doing tomorrow? I was like, I'm working through you guys through this PR company. And he was like, for Balenciaga, I was like, yes. And he was like, okay. Because I was concerned if you were working for something else for the company I currently work for, that we wouldn't be able to offer you this. They were like, we are fed up with X, Y, and Z person. We want to offer you a direct job through Balenciaga to be a private car service tomorrow for the show. Starting at 7 a.m. and ending after the show. But it also means that I now have to somehow tell my friend that her company is fired and that they want to hire me directly. And I'm having a panic attack and I don't know how to do that. I obviously, I wanted to work for Balenciaga. I love that company. It is one of my favorite companies like ever designer wise. You've seen me do a lot of plenty unboxings on this channel. I really enjoy doing what I'm doing and I want to continue doing it. But I was trying to be an outstanding employee for my friend's company as well as for Balenciaga because I wanted to make an everlasting impression with Balenciaga but I also wanted to leave a good remembrance and good taste in their mouth of my friend's company. I whatsoever was not expecting them to try to fire my friend and hire me instead. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm supposed to be excited because it's what I, I wanted to work for them on the show day. I wanted to go to the show and I wanted to do these things. I just didn't want anyone to lose in the process. And I'm not exactly sure how to tell my friend because they've always looked out for me and given me good orders, given me good people to work for. They asked me to come in for this specifically. I don't know what to do. And I wish I could call my dad. I can't. He is currently not available for the next couple years and I just wish I could talk to him. When I wanted to tell him yesterday about everything I did with the dinner because it was the most him thing I've ever done and I was like oh he's gonna be like so proud of me. And then also like he would be the one that has the best advice for what's going on right now. Like he would know exactly what to say. I already took the job. I couldn't like say no. He wanted an answer right there. I didn't have time to think about it. I was just like, yeah, absolutely, there, I'm free. I just don't know how to tell my friend. And I really wish that I could talk to my dad about it. I've tried to call my stepmom and my mom, and I was unable to reach them. I was hoping that maybe they could give me advice. Will told me I have to tell them, and I'm like, yeah. I just, I don't know how. What am I supposed to say, you know? Okay, so I talked to my both my stepmoms, I talked to Will, I talked to Steph, and I got everyone's opinion, and everyone says the same thing. Everyone is like, you're not management, that is not your place to say anything. If Balenciaga wants to tell them, that's fine. Or if my boss asks, that's fine. But that it's not my place, and it could look really bad on both sides if I say anything, because then it might look like I'm stirring something, and then Balenciaga will never want to work with me again, and who knows about the other end but yeah everyone told me kind of just like 
get through the day. It's only one day. Don't say anything and just let it let it ride and then just go how it's supposed to go and not to interfere whatsoever and add in any of my two cents. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I think that's the best option. It's what I thought too and everybody said the same thing. So clearly it's an ongoing. I did text the Balenciaga person and ask if I could buy one of the Air One bottles in hopes that they'll just give it to me. I have not received a response yet. I'll keep you updated. That's ironic. I went to 7-Eleven yesterday to get uh, Coca-Cola for this morning and then I forgot it. So now I'm an uh, extra mile to do the same thing. Got it. Ooh, should I get snacks? I think I'm gonna get snacks. I want a snack. I switched it for this. It's cheaper and bigger, but weird that they're charging a dollar for ice. Ugh, secured the goods. Weird they're charging a dollar for ice. Very, very strange to me. It is much cheaper to just get the cup. I don't know why I've literally never thought of that before. I really hope it fits in my cup holder because that would be fucking annoying. Ah, just barely, thank God. Yeah, it like, it's $2.50 for a bottle, but it's $1.79 for a large cup. And with the way the world is going these days, every penny counts, girl. Every penny. Gotta save all of it. I have a few more deliveries. They just have me jump someone's fence. I haven't gotten any more today. I have a feeling they're gonna try to stick me with a lot of them. I really hope they don't. Because I want a day off. Also, there's something about, like, machine Coca-Cola. It just hits different. There's so much more syrup. It's just so much better. But I need some time off. Especially if they're gonna have me working, like, 18 hours tomorrow. I just, I physically... I need a minute, bruh. I'm done for now. I'm done for now. For now. They want me to do another one. I am two hours from the pickup spot. From this drop-off. And I just, like... I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. This week is killing me. And I just, I don't know. I like, I told them, I was like, I really don't know if I can do it. It's gonna take me two hours to get to pick up, an hour to get a drop off, an hour to get home. I still have to pack and do stuff at home. I've barely eaten, I have barely slept. I just like, I don't know if I can do it. I need to go to Best Buy so I can return this battery. I told them I was done. I don't know if I'm gonna work tomorrow. I know that I spent all week trying to get like hired by actual Balenciaga and not as a freelancer and then they did, but I'm burning out and I feel like really mentally down. I've had zero time to sleep, eat, do anything for myself. I wanted to like take a bath and like go to the hot tub and I can't because I haven't even had five minutes to myself. And it's just, it's a lot. They wanted me to do this pickup. They would have taken me two hours to get to the pickup and then an hour to get to drop off and then an hour to get home. And I was like, I can't do it. And then that made me think that like, is any of this even worth it? Like I've already made what I wanted to make for the week. I've made more than what I wanted to make for the week. And I don't really like need the money. So there's no reason for me to do that. And then also like getting hired directly by Balenciaga takes out my friend who owns the company that I'm working for now as a scapegoat if something bad goes, ha goes wrong. Like right now I have protection from my friend who owns the company that I was hired through if something goes wrong or if I need something to be blamed on someone else or if they need to pay me more for a delivery or if something just anything that happens if I accept just from Balenciaga that means I have to do every single thing they want and I have no one to stand up for me and to fight for me and it's just me so that's kind of like a fearful way to think and I just don't think I can do it. I just got home. Oh, you could still see all the Christmas trees. That's good. I was worried about that. Yeah, yeah. Hi. I just got the So look, garland, trees, more trees, more trees. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the. Sorry. Huh? Like, are you talking to me? Oh no, vlogging. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the Balenciaga deliveries. I really like all the trees. It's cute. It's the most Christmas part of this whole week. Well, the most Christmas part of Vlogmas so far, for sure. I really don't think I am, unless I wake up tomorrow and feel a lot better. I told my friend that owns the company I'm working for that I am burning out. My cat's being destructive. Matthew is stressed out because the cat's being destructive because I'm not there and he used to go through it. And 
he shouldn't have to do with that, and it's solely because the cat has anxiety that I'm not there. I haven't had time to pack to bring the things that I have to bring to the other place, and I want to get a massage. I want to just have a special performance at 9.30. I wonder if the party tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to go there. I just... I'm about to hit a breaking point, and I'm trying to stop it before it hits. Like, let me just... I've kind of hit it from you guys, but let me just show you what my apartment currently looks like because, like, I came in, I moved a lot of my stuff, and I left the most of it. Like, I left, or I left a good portion of it. Oh, it's so windy. But I moved a lot of my stuff, and I left a portion of it, and so... I left it very abruptly, and the way that I left the place was also just very abrupt. And then I started cleaning the bathroom, I think, Monday or Tuesday, and I couldn't finish, so... This is currently what the place looks like. Let me just turn the light on. And I have OCD and anxiety and messes, so this is stressing me out, but I haven't had a second or a chance to clean it. And that's probably what I'm gonna do the rest of today after I take, like, after I take a nap. So this is the entryway. And it looks like this. It's like, it's not fun. I've got bags everywhere. I've got clothes everywhere. I've got just like so much stuff because I tore the place apart when I moved and I just haven't had a second at all to myself to fix it. It's also freezing in here. It's 70, or 63 degrees. I have to go to the bathroom and I'm gonna take a nap probably. So I will see you guys. I took a nap for a bit. Now I am cleaning. I also ate like eight bags of chips and I'm watching my slob video in the background for the wash time. I entirely cleaned the bathroom. It's looking a lot cleaner. I'm doing a lot of laundry. I took out so much trash. I got rid of everything in the fridge that was expired and the freezer. Well, the freezer is empty now because of that. And then same here, there's not much left. And then I'm going to continue cleaning. I did, in fact, take apart the cubicle thing from the closet. I might do it to the dresser too. So far, that's everything going. So far, it's gonna be a lot more. I might do another update throughout the night and then I'm probably gonna end Vlogmas Day 2 here. Well, not like right here, but at the second update. I took apart the dresser now. Well, actually, the pieces are over there. I honestly might just return it to Target tomorrow instead of like move it. I bought it like literally three weeks ago. That's it for Vlogmas Day 2. I'm excited to be going home tomorrow and I'm excited to be taking you with me. I hope you stick around for tomorrow because it'll start getting a little more Christmassy.